Problem 1. Jungkook wants to measure the height of a tree. He walks exactly 100 feet from the base of the tree and looks up. The angle from the ground to the highest point of the tree is 35 degrees. This particular tree grows at an angle of 85 degrees with respect to the ground rather than vertically. How long is the tree? Para mas maintindihan natin yung problem, i-illustrate natin. Meron daw isang tree, and then from that tree, lumayo si Jungkook ng 100 feet. And then from this point, up to the highest point of the tree, may mabubuong 35 degrees. Now, ito ang crucial dito. This particular tree grows at an angle of 85 degrees with respect to the ground rather than vertically. Di ba totoo naman, in reality, maraming puno ang tumutubo na hindi naman perpendicular sa ground. Nakaslant sila ng konti. Tulad nito. Ayan, ang, ang tubo daw niya ay 85 degrees. Nakaslant ng konti. Ganun na direction niya. And that angle to, with the ground is exactly 85 degrees. Ang tanong, how long is the tree? Kulayan natin ng blue. And then, i-represent natin yon bilang variable x. So, yung x ang length ng ating tree. Tanggalin natin yung ibang details dyan. Ayan, mas nakikita natin ngayon na ang involve ay isang oblique triangle. To be specific, yan ay isang acute triangle. Dahil lahat ng angles niya ay acute angles. Diba? The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. 180 minus 85, 95 degrees. 95 minus 35, 60 degrees. Kaya 60 degrees yun. Dahil ito ay isang oblique triangle, ang pwede lang natin gamitin ay yung law of sines o kaya law of cosines. Sa ating previous videos, pinag-usapan natin yung mga different cases na kung saan pwedeng gamitin yung law of sine o kaya law of cosines. Dito, obviously, dalawang angles ang given at isang side, kaya automatic, we will apply here. The law of sines. Ano bang sabi ng law of sines? The ratio of any side of a triangle to the sine of its opposite angle is equal to the ratio of another side and the sine of its opposite angle. Kung meron tayong side x dyan, kopyahin natin yung unknown, makakabuo siya ng ratio with the sine of its opposite angle. Ano yung kaharap niyang angle? 35 degrees. So ito magiging x over sine 35 degrees. Tapos i-equate natin yan to another ratio na given yung side, o kaya known yung side, and its opposite angle. Dito, ang given na side ay 100 feet, kaso hindi binigay yung opposite angle niya. However, nalaman natin kanina ito, ba? Gamit ang triangle angle sum theorem, makukuha natin yung measure nun. Subtract 85 degrees and 35 degrees from 180, ang matitira ang magiging measure ng angle na yun. Pakita natin, 180 minus 85 minus 35 gives us 60 degrees. Kaya yung angle na yun ay may sukat na 60 degrees. Ayun na, isang side at yung opposite angle niya ay known pareho. Kaya pwede natin equate itong naunang ratio to 100 over sine 60. And then to simplify this, ang ginagawa ng iba ay cross multiplication. X times sine 60 and then sine 35 times 100. Tapos, di-divide nila both sides by sine 60. Ngayon, para hindi masyadong mahaba, ang ginagawa natin ay yung sine 35 na lang at 100 ang ipagmumultiply natin, leaving the variable na involved sa left side. Tulad ng ginagawa natin sa previous video natin. Kasi nga, dun din naman ang punta nun eh. So, multiply natin sine 35 times 100. Pagdigitin nyo lang muna. Huwag ka, ka muna mag-calculator. 100 times sine 35, that is x equals 100 sine 35 divided by sine 60. And then, this is the time na gagamit na tayo ng calculator. On your calculator, you key in, diretso lang yan, 100 sine 35. Kung nag-open ko sa ng parenthesis yung calculator nyo, i-close nyo muna, kasi may mga calculator na ganyan eh, i-close nyo muna and then divided by sine 60. You must obtain 66.23. Ilagay nyo yung unit of measurement, fit. And that's it. Tapos, sa conclusion part, sagutin nyo lang yung tanong, how long is the tree? The tree is 66.23 feet long. 
Second problem, on a hill inclined at angle of 26 degrees with the horizontal, stands a vertical tower. At point B, 62.2 meters down the mountain from the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 43 degrees. Question, how tall is the tower? Illustrate natin, meron daw isang hill, tapos nakakabuo siya ng 26 degrees. Ito, itong inclination, itong inclination na to. 26 degrees with the ground. Kaya meron tayong angle doon na exactly 26 degrees ang measure. Now, sa so tuktok daw niyan ay may nakatayong isang tower. Vertical yan ha. Tandaan natin yun. Napaka-crucial nun. Vertical siya. Ibig sabihin, perpendicular siya sa base niya. At perpendicular din siya sa horizontal na ito. Tandaan natin yun. At point B, 62.2 meters down the mountain from the foot of the tower. Mula doon sa foot ng tower, pababa, ay merong point B. Tapos ang layo niya from the foot of the tower ay 62.2 meters. Now, from that point, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 43 degrees. Naalala pa ba yung angle of the elevation? Angle of elevation niyo daw from this point to that point ay 43 degrees. Nasaan yung angle of elevation? Okay, tama. Nandito. Yan buong yan. Diba? Ito tayong horizontal line of sight. Tapos ito yung line of sight above the horizontal line of sight, above the observer. Yun daw ay 43 degrees. Question, how tall is the tower? Nasaan yun? Ito yun, itong nakakulay blue. I-represent natin yun bilang, yung opposite na lang nito, side B. Tanggalin natin yung ibang details. Ayan, yung nalabasan niya. Ngayon, paano natin mahanap ang measure ng side B na ito? Tandaan natin, bago tayo makahanap ng ibang part ng triangle, kailangan at least three sa mga parts ay given. E dito, it looks like na yung 62.2 meters lang na side ang given. Wala nang iba. Ang tanong ay, ito lang ba talaga ang pwede natin malaman dyan? Ang sagot ay hindi. Una, alam natin na horizontal to. Tapos 43 degrees yon Yung angle of elevation niya. Tapos ito 26. So we can actually apply angle subtraction postulate here. Yung 43 degrees, bawasan natin ng 26 degrees, magkakaroon tayo ng 17 degrees. At ang 17 degrees na yun ay yung actual measure ng angle na ito. ba? Ngayon, tanggalin natin ibang details dyan. Meron tayong dalawa. Itong side na to at angle na ito. Ano pa yung pwede natin makuha dyan? Ayun, tama. Dahil ito ay horizontal line, maglalagay tayo ng horizontal line sa taas pa. Ayan. So, magkakaroon tayo ng, babalikan natin yung lesson natin sa grade 8 mathematics. Mga parallel lines. Tapos itong red line na to ay isang transversal. Kaya, itong angle na to at yung angle doon sa taas na yun ay congruent. Parehong 43 degrees. Bakit? They are alternate interior angles. So, clear na yun. Meron tayong 43 degrees doon. Now, Kung 43 degrees to, pwede ba natin mahanap itong angle na to? Kung pwede, anong property ang pwedeng gamitin? Or concept? Tama. Itong line na to ay vertical. Ibig sabihin, perpendicular din siya sa horizontal line na yan. ba? Dahil perpendicular sila, makakabuo sila ng 90 degrees. So, 43 yan. Itong angle na to ay 47 degrees. And that's it. Meron na tayong tatlong measures. Pwede nating mahanap yung side B na yun by using the law of sines. Kasi meron tayong dalawang angles at any side. Okay? So, apply na natin. Unahin natin yung side B na isulat over the sine of its opposite angle. Ano yung angle na kaharap ng, ng side B na yan? 17 degrees. Kaya ito magiging over sine 17 degrees. Equal yan to another ratio na given yung side at yung opposite angle niya. O kaya, known pareho. Ayan, nakita natin na itong side na to, saka yung angle na yun ay opposite. Kaya pwede ito magamit yan. Magiging equal yan sa 62.2 over sine 47 degrees. 
continue b equals 62.2 sine 17 divided by sine 47 on your calculator you must obtain 24.87 meters final answer natin the tower is 24.87 meters tall so marirealize nyo na it develops our critical thinking skills. Ang dami natin in-apply na lessons na pinag-aralan natin before. Ito yung gusto natin sa mathematics. Now, we develop our critical thinking skills and problem-solving skills. Third problem, pwede nyo i-pause yung video para manamnam nyo yung problem bago ko ipakita yung solution. An aircraft tracking station that determines the distance from a common point X to each aircraft and the angle between the aircrafts. If the distances from point X to the two aircrafts are 50 kilometers and 72 kilometers, and the angle between the two aircrafts is equal to 49 degrees, find the distance between the two aircrafts. Meron daw isang tracking station, tapos may nakita siyang dalawang aircrafts. Nakita niya na from this point X, papuntang aircraft 1, ang layo niya ay 50 kilometers. Tapos yung pangalawa naman, 72 kilometers. Moreover, nakita niya na 49 degrees yung nabuo nilang angle. Ayan. Ang tanong ay distance between the two aircrafts. So, ito yun. I-represent natin yung bilang. Siyempre, yung opposite angle nyo. No? Kaya side x na lang. Pwede natin linisin yung ating illustration. Ayan. Ngayon, ang given ay dalawang sides at isang angle na included, naka-sandwich siya. Kaya automatic, law of cosines ang gagamitin natin. Itong x ang nahanap natin, kaya square natin yan. Side x squared is equal to 50 kilometers squared plus 72 kilometers squared. Pero huwag natin isama yung unit of measurement. And then minus twice the product of these two sides. Yan. And then times cosine ng angle na opposite ng side x. Ayan, yung equation na mabubuo natin. To simplify this, di ba, sa video natin, nag-offer ako ng dalawang ways pa paano yun i-simplify. Unang way ay, i-simplify nyo muna dalawang terms na to, and then i-simplify yung third term. Pag nagawa nyo yun, pagsamayin silang dalawa, and then kunin yung square root. Pero napaka-prone napaka nun sa rounding error, kaya ginagawa natin ay isang beses lang natin gagamitin yung calculator. Kunin natin square root ng both sides para matanggal yung square ng x dito, ng side x. Kaya dito, lalabas dito ay magiging square root nyan. Pero pinakita ko na dyan yung mismong pipindutin nyo sa calculator para diretso lang. So, ang gawin nyo lang, square root, open parenthesis, para ang ibig sabihin nun ay kukunin mo yung square root ng buong yan at hindi lang ng first term. Kaya open, and then another open parenthesis para sa first two terms na ito. Minus another open para sa buong third term na yan. And then close. And then isa pang close na dapat mag-prepare ka doon sa unang ginawa mo. And then direction lang yan sa calculator. You must get 54.41 kilometers. Conclusion, the distance between the two aircrafts is 54.41 kilometers. Fourth and last problem, two straight roads intersect at point B and make an angle of 45.3 degrees. At point A on one road, there is a building that is 3 kilometers from point B, while at point C on the other road, there is another building that is 6 kilometers from point B. Determine the direct distance from point A to point C. Simplihan na lang natin yung illustration. Mayroong dalawang roads na nag-intersect at point B, and then they make an angle of 45.3 degrees. At point A on one road, dito, somewhere here, there is a building that is 3 kilometers from point B. So, from point B to somewhere here, mayroong isang building. Sa gitna na lang. Point A. Ang layo niya from point B ay 3 kilometers. While at point C on the other road, there is another building that is 6 kilometers from point B. Ayan, point A, dito lang, kalahati lang yung 3. Tapos, doblihin natin yan, mga bandang nandito siya. There is point C. Point C, another building daw. Ano yung tanong? Determine the distance from point A to point C. So, ayun. Between the two buildings pala siya. Connect natin yan. 
by the way, 6 kilometers pala yan. Connect natin yung point A at point C. At yan ang tinatanong. I-represent natin yan bilang side B. Tanggalin natin yung ibang details para triangle lang matira. Continue. Anong law ang pwedeng gamitin dyan? We are given two sides and an included angle. Ito ay isang SAS pa rin tulad ng problem 3. Kaya apply natin ay yung law of cosines. Square natin yung side na to. Magiging side B squared is equal to square ng 3 and square ng 6. I-add natin yung dalawang yun. Minus twice the product of the these two sides. And then times cosine of the angle opposite the side. 45.3. Ayun yung kaharap niya. Opposite niya. And then, pwede kayong dumiretso na sa calculator. Kunin nyo lang square root ng buong expression na yan. Okay? Square root, open, open, 3 squared plus 6 squared, close, minus, open, 2 times 3 times 6, cosine, 45. Kung nag-open siya, close nyo muna, and then close para sa third term, and then another close for the entire expression. You must obtain 4.44 kilometers. And that's it. Conclusion part. The direct distance from point A to point C is 4.44 kilometers. And that ends our video tutorial. Goodbye and thank you.